So over the weekend, I saw two questions pop up and the first one was related to my Drum Machine XO preset where I made a video about this a while back um, where you have the XO sampler inside of the Drum Machine and make it basically just one device or one preset. So it works like this, that we, that we have the XO here in the return channel and we had to mute basically here the XO so we don't leak out the sounds or the audio signals from the cells here because there's an audio receiver on there and also out of the bus channels here because we want to receive this with the audio receiver on these cells. So now we can play this here and if you uh, unmute this we have basically the sound twice from the cells and from the bus outputs here from the return channel. So we had to mute basically this return channel. So this was the initial setup. The problem with this is that we can't hear actually the preview inside here of the sample space, right? It's also muted because it leaks out here from the master channel. You can see here there's a level. And because the whole thing is muted, you can't hear it. So you have to un unmute this, preview your samples and then mute it back again, which is a bit tedious. So the question was how to change the setup actually to make it possible without the need of uh, muting and unmuting its return channel. So my idea is pretty simple. Instead of muting here the global channel or the global return channel, we just mute all the individual buses here like this and just leave the master here uh, untouched so we can hear the preview. So now we can't hear basically sound on these cells because we use on these cells an audio receiver and we receive basically from the XO, from the bus channel here, but post fader. And post fader is basically after these knobs here, after solo and mute and also after this fader here. So it's called pre fader and post fader. Um, that's the reason. So instead of receiving here the kick from the 3-4 post fader, we just switch this to pre fader. So here this is 3-4, so we go to XO. 3-4, um, so instead of post, we take here pre, also snare, XO, um, this is 7-8, right, pre, and then hi-hat is 11-12. pre okay um, so now the audio doesn't leak out because the buses are muted and we still receive the audio here from the pre and we can also have a preview because the master is unmuted so it's basically kind of solved this way so this is my idea um, on how to change the routing basically to make this possible a uh, safe preset to library and call this, save it, and for the next time it's basically ready to go. Um, the second question was related to um, to wavetables. So let's say you have a polygrid. Inside the polygrid you use the wavetable oscillator here. Also an ADSR. And let's use an output here and let's use a spectrum analyzer here and call this mid. That's the mid channel. So make this small, duplicate side and put this here into side mode. Okay. Pull down the volume a bit. Um, so yeah, so now we can play here a saw. You can see we have the fundamental and all the overtones here. And if you put this here now in unison mode, let's say three voices, the voices are spread in the stereo spectrum and also they're slightly detuning. We use the FET mode. You can see we have a lot of side information. So it's a stereo signal now. And it morphs and moves all around. And that's also why it sounds nice because it's kind of hovering and the frequencies are beating, right? So now the problem is how do we use this for bass sounds because we need a monophonic or mono bass sound or fundamental, right? So the question was, how do I remove now um, here this guy, the fundamental, and replace it with a sign, with a stable mono sign? 
And the first thing you can do, the easy straightforward thing to do is actually use a cell and key filter. Uh, cell and key has the steepest filters here, HP8, 48 dB per octave high pass filter. And instead of just double clicking this and put this onto C3, we use here um, the second harmonic, which is C4, which is exactly one octave higher. So C3 is basically always the middle frequency of the key. Um, which means the fundamental, uh, but we move this up to one octave higher, C4, which is basically the second harmonic or the first harmonic. The fundamental is this, and this is the, 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 the first harmonic. Uh, maybe put here a plan so you can see it. Um, so this is without, here we have the fundamental moving around, moving around stereo spectrum then bring in the filter and we completely yeah remove not remove we pull it down pretty drastically uh, you can see it's mini, minus 80 uh, db so it's very quiet right and because this is key tracked here and it's on the second harmonic here c4 um, this moves perfectly fine with the key and it also works perfectly fine here with the polyphonic or polyphony so you can use multiple keys and the uh, cell key filter is perfectly on point on the first harmonic with this. And then you can, let's pull this back here, and then you can insert here, let's say a clean sign, right? Use a mixer here and bring this here on the root or on the fundamental. You can see here the mid channel now has this stable sign. And it's completely completely mono. If you remove here all the overtones, you can see this is uh, mono. There's no side information, so there's it's not stereo signal. Then you can bring back here all the moving the tuned saw parts. Okay. And you can call this here now first harmonic. We can also bring in here the second harmonic just by pulling up here two to one. Call this second. Um, bring this in. And we can change this now independently. So this is mono here, these two. And this one is the, the tune saw on top. So this is basically nice for bass sounds where you need a, a nice mono sub and you want to still keep the stereo spread on top. So this is the first idea. Um, you can also make this much, much cleaner by using a wavetable editor. And I guess most people have Serum already. So you can use um, a Serum for this, or maybe Vital is also possible to use this, but I use all the time Serum because I own it and it, I think the wavetable editor is the best on the market right now still. Um, so here we can just go from the init patch into the editor. We have just one index here on the wavetable. You can call up your singles and say, just saw. So it's a, just a saw wave. We use here also spectrum. All right, you can see here the fundamental and all the overtones. And then we can create here a second index. On the second index, we just remove the fundamental. This is with, this is without the fundamental. And we can even do a third one here where we remove the first harmonic. So fundamental, First harmonic, and then here yeah, it starts with the second harmonic. And then we have three indexes in this wave table, and we can say morph and say just spectral. And now we can use the wave table position here to remove the fundamental and then the first harmonic. And then if you like this, of course, you can just say here um, export 
as a wave table, right? And you say saw no fundamental frequency, right? Save it. And I also put this in the um, in the description below, so you can just download it if you don't own Serum. Um, and then we, yeah, more or less pull this here into uh, the wavetable oscillator here. Uh, no fundamental. Okay. So let's start here with the with the wavetable first. Let's use here uh, no unison. And we don't need to sell a key filter, of course, because we just filtered this out here. So here all the overtones in there, also the fundamental. I can slowly remove this 50%. And the fundamental is completely gone. 100% and the first harmonic is gone, right? And then you bring in here with the sign first harmonic and the fundamental back with the sign and these two are completely mono and you can push this wave table now to unison to tune everything and these two guys here the fundamental and the first harmonic are completely mono and perfectly in center so this is the cleanest possible way and like I said, I put you this uh, wavetable here in the description below, so you can just download it and use it in the wavetable oscillator of Bitwig Studio and have some fun with uh, some Reese and Hover bass lines. It's perfectly, it's it's perfect for bass sounds, right? For drum bass sounds, for Reese bass sounds, and just have a nice, dense, big uh, stereo spread on top and the fundamental and the first harmonic is completely mono. It's perfect. That's it for this video. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.